Hello everyone and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage, where the game is always the same, the emblems, they're driving me insane, I'm trying to aim for the- uh, Anyways, I don't know what came over me. Last time, Louie's SSJ, mid-form, excelled in destroying the entire map. Unfortunately for me, that means all of our EXP is funneled onto him, which is a bad thing I've recently learned, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this game, y'all. It is- I look forward to recording this every single day. It is so gosh darn addicting. Hope you're enjoying it too. If you are, leave me a like. It helps me so much, I've no idea. And thanks a lot for not dying in front of your children, Queenie. That's cool. Uh, please get some rest before you set out. I'll be praying for your safety. What about my safety, Mom? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, so the adults are talking. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay. I think I lost him. Dang, he's got way more than five moves. You're that was sure fast. About that, oh, Don? no. <laughs> Hey! You're shaking like a leaf. I take it you failed to obtain the ring. What was that comment about my boots? Those guys were tougher than they looked. Specifically one with white hair. He was I can tell you things. Stuff that'll help you track it down. Like the fact that Princess Saintly ran off with it. The Divine Dragon has it now. Pretty good info, right? Good job, dude. What do you say? How about we call it even this time around? Oh, these animations. I won't let you down again. Oh, how naive you are. After you fail me once, there is no second chance. No! Please don't kill me! Oh, God, give him a chance! She's actually dumb. I'm mad. <laughs> you killed him in front of the t t tulips and everything? Come on. <laughs> he should have built more res. <laughs> oh, hey. I am sorry, my lady. Apologies for the mess. And our failure to acquire the ring. You answer to her? What is she, like seven? <laughs> <laughs> she <just> giggles. <laughs> he die, I lord. Well, I... I was expecting to get at least one. I don't know what to make of this. Also, the lady has a very interesting, like... What is that? It's like a, it's like a chin strap. Like, piece of armor. Why does she possess that? Would you ever be damaged there? At so least curious. now we know that Lumera is dead. Yes, but there's another divine dragon to take her place. I can't believe that Beast had a child. It's, I mean, it's, it's, that happens with beasts, just saying. It's nature. It does explain why she was so willing to sacrifice her life. What should we do? The battle at Lethos Castle took its toll. We're in no shape for another confrontation. We'd best lie low for a spell. Leave them be, for now. Understood. Hmm, so it seems like they're chilling out. We would have been in really bad shape if they had a spy inside of the you know room when the queen was saying, by the way, Micaiah's ring is here. Like, dude, if the boss just like stuck around for a little longer and relayed the info, yeah, that'd be a pain in the butt. But that is our next objective. In the meantime, I got to do some chores. I don't like calling them that, but it's, you know, it is what it is. The Amiibos and Gazebos back in the game. Heck yeah. In between episodes, I've been talking to my friends, etc., and just learning more about the game in sort of a spoiler-free environment. And, uh, yeah, you can get some bond fragments from the achievement window. I learned that in this chapter onward, we can start forging things, which forging functions different than in Shadow Dragon and Awakening, but, uh, it's still pretty handy. From what I understand, it's as simple as you get the materials, you give it to the person, you give a little coin, and there you go. Plus one weapon. You can also engrave weapons to give them even bigger of a boost, but that does eat up a uh, bond fragment, so I'm not sure if I want to commit to that right away. And also, the arena is open. Commence the blood. This is... This is the arena? The final boss zone of Elden Ring? The freak. <laughs> From what I can gather, this doesn't actually put your character in mortal danger and uh, can potentially get them a boost. Ooh, that's a bad matchup. That's like a really bad matchup. He's hecka strong. Oh, God, please. He can't even get a crit. But yeah, if we fail these, we don't die. Because that would suck. This sucks. Oh, come on. I guess, you're, I guess your opponent is randomly generated. It could have been worse. It could have been Louie. That would have been a really bad matchup. I won't show these on screen every time. Oh, my God. This is a bad matchup. And he's got the Rider's Bane. What? Ah, uh, that sucks. Come on, double him, double him. Big damage, big damage, come on. Please, please miss, please miss, 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 miss. Oh, what the frick? Oh yeah, there's also this shop we got. I probably didn't, like, I probably edited out the cutscene, but I think they give us clothes. 
Wow. Wow. These look awesome. What the dump. But I think it I think it eats up my finite resources. So I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, this eats up our gold. I need those for forges. Oh brother, what is this? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't mm, not vibing. Alright. I wonder if this like that carries over to the actual battles. Wait a minute. Can we give Louis glasses? That is so effing funny. God, that's tempting. I mean, he did do the best in the last map. I mean, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Gotta feed Iba. I mean, come on. She's a growing girl. That's so nasty. Why did they... It's honestly pretty funny, though. Hey, you, you, you got off on your pedestal. Can you follow me around? Oh, my God. This game is epic. <laughs> How does he even move with them tiny legs? You're crazy. Let's see. I think I did all my chores. We fed the dog. We combed Marth. Uh, we did our training, yeah. There's something I do every day that I'm forgetting. God dang it, what is it? Oh yeah, I forgot. Here you go, Saline. Some fertilizer for all the flowers you'd love to uh. grow. I'm a monster. Alfred, I will never give you manure. I promise you, and can finally support with him. Heck yeah! Morning, Divine One. Yeah. Morning. Good morning, Alfred. Have you been silly today? You gotta check on yourself. Try and be a little whimsical every day. That's quite the smile. <laughs> Having a good day, are you? He is silly. Yeah, my mom did get murdered, so I'm doing pretty good. You can say that again. <laughs> I got up before sunrise and did tons of training. Even got an early run in. <laughs> yeah, you killed my killed clan. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive. Dang, Alfred has landed on thick, brother. <laughs> There's no need to tease me. I ain't teasing. You're beautiful, Lear. I no, I'm 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 just normal. Not seriously, just uh, uh who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Oh yeah, a friend for sure. Yeah. Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too. But uh look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Mm. No. No? There There's is. nothing bothering me at the moment. There is something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, clan and friend, like, you know, I, I think I'd tell them about boundaries. It's getting kind of stalkery. Good. Great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. <laughs> Our friendship Tickled. makes me happy too, Alfred. A nice and wholesome one. Alfred respected our boundaries and just came up and said, Hey, yo, I'll do anything for you. Even kill. And that, you know, that comment was kind of weird, but you know, whatever. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean, but we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. I know what I'd ask, Celica. So it's scary fighting those dragon zombies? Like, they're dragons, but they're also zombies. No, it was actually pretty easy. They didn't move all too fast. Oh, okay. All right, that is officially it. We're done. Let's head to the next chapter. Oh, Paralog? Is it with a villager? Mm -hmm. No, I probably wouldn't do that again. So, Tea Field Village. I... All right, that is probably the one where the villager is, but... I'm adamant that we're going to do chapter six today. Um, I did move around my emblem rings a little bit. I want to see how Celica and clan kind of work together with that current setup. And come to think of it, I also want to move Alfred's. In this map, I intend to use Chloe a lot because, well, we got to train her. And she's not lagging too far behind, but the extra strength will definitely come in handy. Anyway, let us begin and find Micaiah's ring. Chapter six, the stolen ring. Ah, <gasps> oh, god dang it. Someone else already got to it. Are you for real? Well, this sucks. Fair. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look, not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. <laughs> Archer's gonna shoot, shoot his point blank in the head. <laughs> So we're just in the middle of a field, no cover. Oh, my God, who are Except you? Except her. That girl with insanely bedazzled hair. Is 
I don't remember that. Does anyone remember Claire's? Girls would go in there and have like these stickers in their hair. I always thought it was weird. Oh. But I'm not the target demographic, so that's probably the point. I guess she works at Claire's. Take a little look around. Wait for it. Oh gosh, she's talking to herself. I wonder what she's doing here. Being fabulous, I guess. Uh, <laughs> she's crying. Uh, oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? I'm sorry. I did. I mean, it looks good on you. It's just not for me. The, the stars. I'd better help. <laughs> I am her prince, after all. Huh? I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Bro, do you know she even... What if she's with the enemy? Alfred, wait! You crazy, bro! Uh, oh, what a scrape I'm in. It's a, it's a jade. Hey there. It's a trap. <gasps> Damsel in distress. What What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z what? I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time! I'm saved! Uh... I'm at... I'm at a loss for words. This I is... lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Did she steal the ring? Is that where you're getting at, video game? Oh, right. I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, papaya! Hi, uh, <laughs> papaya? <laughs> the game's self-aware. That's really odd. Huh. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Wait, that means it's awakened. Come again? What? Yeah, hey. I figured you wouldn't believe me. Hey, hold up! I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? That's coincidence. Wow. Is that... Did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? You mean you haven't heard of me? My, my fan club's slacking, bro. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. Have you really not seen the... The flyers? The tracks? Really? I... And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firene. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? <laughs> well, I didn't want to... I don't want to brag that I'm a prince. <laughs> I, I think I just had a heart attack. Nope. False alarm. Phew. Okay, so she was the boss of the map and, like, would kill us for the ring. I would be honestly surprised, so... I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. Alfred, stop. You're so cheesy. <laughs> Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Wasn't that good of an impression. <laughs> anyway, I picked up the ring and she said, Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. So you left her there? Are you stupid? She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firenze. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. Okay. And now the ring's gone. I was about to say. I must have dropped it somewhere. Woe is me. Sniffle, sniffle. She said sniffle out loud. Now I'm double. But now that you're here, you're going to help me find it. Right? Right? Why not? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. And if memory serves right, someone awoken the ring, because you have to remember the emblem. And say the magic words. I'm pretty sure only a Leer knows those, right? Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. I hope she's not evil. She's so silly. I love silly characters. No sign of the ring so far. That is not Brockadiliocious. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? <laughs> what is it? That was a very animated expression. Mike, you should really be a YouTuber. That was ridiculous. 
It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. And now she's clickbaiting? What? How can you tell? I gotta click this video to find out. I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. That makes sense. Let's take a closer look. Okay, bandit map. Not not the most insane thing, but you They've know. Taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got. Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah. A burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. Cause really, that guy getting married? At his age? Unlikely. What do you think, Divine <laughs> One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. Let's kill him and then we'll decide if it was worth it later. Yeah. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have the killer's eyes. Oh, sorry, I spaced out. What were you What was that? Oh. <laughs> killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. If you ever need something looked at real good, I'm right <laughs> She's the best character, hands down, bro. Anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. Yunaka, I promise I will never give you manure. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. That never works out. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. Oh, God. All right. I'm a sucker for that plan. Alone with a girl, though. Oh, God, I hope I don't say something stupid. Okay, then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. Oh, my God, my hands are clamming up. Oh, dude, oh, dude, oh, dude. What if I drop my sword? <laughs> you got to hand it to Alfred, though. He's he's the wingman. He was an oh I volunteered to go oh, with you, Naka. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. All right. Slipping through a side passage. Smart thinking, Yunaka. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I thought this was a remix. All right, so let's look what we got here. Ooh, it's fog of war. Are you serious? Shut up. Why would they do this? Are they... F off. All right, level 13 boss. That's that's kind of tricky. Level 10 enemy. All right, so it looks like there's going to be a handful of uh, magic people on this map. I mean, there's at least that one over there. Oh, this is a... No I can't prepare. <laughs> We're going to use a lot of time crystal charges this time around, but we got Yunaka, who, I mean, say what you will about me. She's winning me over. I like the boots. Ooh, the boots. What is the, what is the, is that just a mole? We have to do support with her to find out what that is. And trained to kill. Oh my god. Well, unit occupies terrain that provides an avoid. That's a really good personal. Hello? And she already comes with S rank uh, daggers or knives. Poisons opponents? What the dumb? Yunaka, she, okay. That's actually pretty sick. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm prepare, move people around. You already know the drill. This time around, we're gonna give Clan the magic tonic, which... That compliant with Celica and a couple of like, you know, bond ranks on him. Like, he's already got 13 magic. It's not too bad. So we'll see what happens there. I uh, should be smart and safe, but I'm too stupid to do that. Let's fire, baby. Chapter six already. Let's go. It's pitch black out here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. That's annoying. But how can we fight them if we can't even see them? <laughs> Welcome to fire them, baby. I don't know either. Don't worry, divine one. That's what I'm here for. Eh. Okay. Oh. My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Is that is that what the thieves can do? Is that like their bonus? Until you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. Okay, okay. Nice. So, darkness. It sucks. It's cool they kind of brought back torches, though. Proceed with caution. There's enemies in the darkness. Oh, boy. This game. Here he is. Let's take him by surprise. Can you backstab? Is that another mechanic? Good idea. I like fighting dirty. Please, <sighs> take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This will net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> I'm with you, Yunaka. There's no, this is guy. This guy's not husband material. He does not deserve that ring. Oh dear, you can't even hear me, can you? He's blinded by avarice. Wait, no, he's trying to hear you. He's deafened by avarice. Oh no. I hear her. That's the voice from before. That's definitely an emblem ring, Yunaka. Will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo. That's why we're here. Right. Well, thank you. 
You know, that comment was really, I don't think this date's going well. I did not appreciate that. Now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Stop. You're going to make me blush. Okay, I'm back in this. I'm out of the friend zone. Let's go, Lear. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'll stop with my RP jokes. All right. So we cannot lose either. Quite the bummer. So we'll start with her. So poison status. They can inflict poison. They take extra damage. So it's not a damage over time. Repeated knife attacks will increase the potency. This is so cool. All right, y'all. I know I've been poking a little bit of fun at the story, but mechanically, the game's kind of fire. So I think it's smartest to lead with this. <laughs> Where did you come from? Who can say? <laughs> Doesn't even answer. She trained for this. Oh, dang. Her dodge rating is pretty good, too. Not bad, not bad. I probably should have led with a leer. I come to think of it. it. No, eh, either way, we still got this. But yeah, it, it's it's. I guess does it take down their defense stat? Hard to say. I hope um, a leer doesn't also get the ring. Oh, that's impossible. You can't hold two rings. How would you do that? Ah, uh, yeah. It's a shame, really. Whatever. Ooh, darn it! I was supposed to inherit got the ring. some skills. Darn. Heal us, emblem of dawn. But you didn't take any damage, like actually at all. Well, you said the magic words, so that's all that matters. There she is, a character I know basically nothing about. Because the game is $150 on eBay or something like that. Golly, she's... She got them shoujo eyes. Look at her. Woo! I'm here to read. I don't... <laughs> I am Emblem Micaiah. I sense the future shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka... I entrust this ring to you. Alir, you just met her. I... Me? Uh, but... Oh, okay. I... Uh. She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Micaiah? Yeah. Okay. I won't let you down. She's on board. All right. So, uh, we can't really analyze this at the moment, but... Oh, no, we can sort of do that. Great Sacrifice. Used to restore full HP to all allies? What? That's pretty good. But she's a healer and she's a... Oh! Unit can equip staffs. Ooh, that's cool. So just full disclosure, yeah, I don't know anything about Makaya. I guess she's like, you know, a mage of sorts of her game. I miscounted my tiles, bro. I was like, yeah, she can hit that. She literally cannot. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Uh, in that case, <laughs> Louis to the rescue. Oh God, what does he have? What does he have? He's got a hammer. That sucks. Okay. In that case, uh, let's just. I screwed up my opening turn so hard. Use Alfred as bait. Use his personal. Get an extra boost there. And here's something cool I learned from my friend. Right. Uh, Boof. I can't say his name. Epic. Boofalant. With the hand axe is a godlike combo because chain attacks uh, are good. <laughs> and if like he has like a ranged attack, uh, you'll see in the video, I'm sure. More or less, you can just like do tons and tons of damage. And oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you got the torch, I assume. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, so this map's it's not it's not looking super bad. Anything can happen out here, y'all. It's crazy. Let's uh, make sure the slim lance is equipped to Chloe. And I guess uh, just sort of end our turn. I don't know if Mikhail will get any like action Looks in. Like we oh. got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot. You got it. Are you kidding me? That's stupid. Oh no. I did not account for that. Oh, that's really unfortunate. The slim lance is not cutting it. I uh, maybe I should have forged some javelins. That would have been smart too. Oh god. <gasps> he dodged it. Let's go, Alfred. I was honestly debating benching you. I mean, I still kind of plan to, but like, you know, I mean, uh, anyway. <laughs> Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Tight, tight. Sounds good. I, uh, ooh. Man, I really, I don't want to take these maps too slow, but y'all got to admit, going in blind sucks. So I think, bur ooh, yeah, that ex that's dirty. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. Okay. Emblem Akaya. She's a healer, I guess? That's cool. I mean, one, one of the characters had to be like a healing focus person. Engage weapon shine attack. And illuminate areas when used. 
Really? And Okay, that's that sacrifice attack. Let's uh, hope it doesn't come to that. But I'm kind of curious. So I guess we just actually light up everything. And oh my god, she looks so cool when she's like all glowy. I love that. That is so cool. Why can this guy not counterattack? I guess that dagger can't reach or something. Interesting. Anyway, let's just go for the free damage. What is that he head? What is... That is really silly, but I love it. I don't love this down here, though. Unfortunately, uh, Alir's our only sword unit. So every axe guy is potentially a threat, and I don't, not a fan of that. But uh, this seems like a relatively safe um, move. Also, investing in the uh, plus one hand axe, it was only 500 gold. But uh, from what I can gather, it's pretty safe to do that. Let's see, I kind of want to be careful about how I divvy up. Oh, wait, we have, oh, dump, that's right. We have a... Uh... We can potentially warp Ragnarok over there if we ever need to, to help out Alir, but I don't think it'll come to that. But if it does, I'll be ready. Uh, let's use, I'm so sorry, Eddie. I want to use you, but I know too much about Fire Emblem. There's no chance you're going to be like, a, like you know, just, it's just, it's, it is what it is. I'm sorry. There's just no chance. Unless I find like a super good archer, that's a no-brainer, but I've seen the growths. And honestly, uh, I don't really understand the information that I saw. I'll be totally honest. Oh, snap. Here's a play. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Engage. Overextend a little bit. How's he going to look? Eh? Uh, okay. Well, I guess it's class-based then. But we can use Echo and uh, Seraphim probably higher. Uh, yeah, perfect hit rate as well. We can just do an Echo attack here, and that should finish these two off. And if not, we can just get another... Um, you know, say lean to oh he's one hit one freaking oh that's so annoying oh wait we can use echo and hopefully get one more exp from this fight hit it boy hit it okay 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 now if he gets magic god dang it i did it i got stronger yeah and i'm just like come on come on man seriously oh i, I, I tried my best to find one I'm not gonna lie you're being a bit of a butt okay <laughs> oh no this is dire Oh, wait, I have Alfred still. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. So, get him with Alfred. I'll say this much, man. This game makes you use all of your characters. And you gotta, like, be very, in like, I don't wanna say intelligent, because that's patting myself on the back too much. But, like, the enemies are, you can't just, like, clump up your enemies and have a death ball, as I like to call it. Which I rather like. I feel like, slowly but surely, watching my old footage, I'm getting a little bit better. Can I just talk to, okay, I don't give a dump about being, like, good commentary guy for a second. Anything. I just had the weirdest encounter this like today, You're and I just gotta talk about it. I was I was delivering some effing like things to the like UPS store, just sending off some letters, etc. You know how oh that sucks. Where did you come from? Oh fuck a war. Anyway, as I was exiting the UPS store, a guy like literally rode his bike. Like I'm I'm imitating him. Got off it. It hit the side of the subway. He went in, opened, slammed the door, and said, Big Bo's back in town! Except he didn't say it like that. He said, Big Bo's back in town! Like he was a cartoon character. And I... I feel like I'm losing my mind. There's no way I can describe this to you that will ever match how it actually happened in real life. It was so odd and uncanny. Big Bo's back in town! I guess he worked there. Maybe he's coming back to see his old, like, you know, employee friends. I... I, I don't know. I would love some answers. But it's one of those really bizarre encounters. You're never, you just, I, Big Bo's back in town, y'all. Okay, so we're using the Shine Tome, which that does illuminate the area. I feel kind of silly using it. Oh my gosh, I could have used that earlier. Crud. All right, let's get Chloe over here and uh, just try and more or less get, oh my God, the Thunder Tome's attack from three. That's unfair. Bro, get me one of them. Okay, so double. Okay, double. Send Chloe in. We can't counterattack with the javelin, but that's fine. Some lance. I don't imagine that weighs a whole heck of a lot, so maybe we can dodge the thunder. Worst case scenario, we get hit by it. Doesn't really effing matter. You know how res works in these games. I don't gotta explain that crap. Ooh, not a bad level. Not a great one. We'll take it. Get my precious son out of here. <laughs> and okay, march uh, everyone else into doom. Turn two down. Let's see how this goes. He's going now for clan. Okay. Oh, no. That guy can get to us. He's got a longbow? Oh, my. 
This sucks. Well, I guess they're telling you early on, yeah, there's three range attackers. Get used to it, buddy. Oh, this is bad. Oh, no, we dodged it. Okay. <laughs> I know we're not invincible when we have Marth, but golly, does it feel like it. Oh, there's a lot of units coming here. Oh, I feel kind of silly for wasting the Shine Tome. Let's see. She's level six. I think we'll prioritize a little bit of, like, yeah. We'll get a little bit of EXP on her. I feel like Aaliyah's in a good spot right now. And, you know, this is a new recruit. She does seem kind of decent. I opt to go for the Tome there because I assume weapon ranks do function like they did in past Fire Emblems. You, you want to grind weapon ranks. It's not always just about stats, you know, base stats, you know, roads, etc. Weapon ranks do matter a lot as we get more Avoid stuff from Marth. It's kind of gimmicky because, you know, I can't always rely on an Avoid, but, uh... Oh, yeah, you can. Let's, um... See how this goes. A actual one shot. Okay. Uh, no, he's doubling. Okay. We will get this longbow. Maybe we can give that to. I mean, who else are going to give it to? But <laughs> well, that would be nice to use for uh, future battles, I assume. And yeah, that mean. Oh my god. How much magic does he have now? 20? Oh crap, we got to worry about this guy. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Let's just go in simplest order. Let's try and. Okay, simple. Simple kid. <laughs> Didn't even touch me. Love it, love it. Here's an idea. We use the newly acquired longbow. 50-50 odds, because he's in the bush. Which, if he's in the bush, we choose him caster, then... Aw, oh, that stinks. Poor Etty. That's your one arrow for the map. Sorry, you do not get another chance. Okay, here's an idea. Our highest hit rate is 56, because he's in this bush, right? And he's a thief. I don't know if thieves have, like, higher evade. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's great. Though, I wouldn't mind getting hit there so we can level up um, Fram a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, Mystics do not have to worry about terrain bonuses. So, if we connect this and the chain attack. Oh, no, then we're still off by, like, one or two. Four. Whoops, I can't count. Oh, but I think he can only go for Buffalon. So, that's fine. Yeah, that all worked out. Sweet. Now, I have to continue to inch our way ever so carefully over to this giant void of darkness, which I'm ever so terrified of. <laughs> Might be another hammer user amongst all this darkness. Because you never know. There might be 14 hammer dudes and then we lose our unit. And that would not be good. All right. Pass the turn. Let's see who's coming to take us on. Okay. Good use of emblem. God. This is it. The emblems are so freaking strong. You actually feel how mighty they are in gameplay. And I guess that's how the emblem form looks for when Aaliyah... I mean, Aaliyah's the dragon, right? So that makes sense. That would be... Uh, oh, that stinks. Um, he'd have wings and stuff. I'm really digging that. Even though they kind of do remind me of Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Oh, you you got at emblem form when I was going to show the viewers. God dang it. Remember, sir, you're right. I mean, we took zero damage up here. Oh, my God. I do remember the bosses here, though, with the magic person. So I think we should kind of, like, reunite everybody before we press onward too much. And I might as well feed this kill, too. Mm, I'm going to prioritize clan here just because i know it's silly I'll take this. <laughs> Never it's just oh dope oh, maximum power full cowley <laughs> For the divine dragon. <laughs> i love why here academia so much i've done that impression for years and finally now there's a reason to do it <laughs> don't die huey okay sweet oh no <laughs> does not matter <laughs> just get dodge tank jeez you're not even supposed to be the dodgy one Maybe he is. I don't know. So, uh, dang. Okay, so this light thing, like, stays for a good minute. That's good to know. But I think I'll do these in the opposite order, so I feed a little bit to Yanaka. Usually, feed does not have a positive connotation when it comes to video games, but today, it do. Because, one, you have to think about EXP, but also our bond with our emblem. And I think those level up pretty independently. Yeah, they do. Heck yeah. And you want to get, like... I think you want to get to level 5 with that ASAP because that's when you start getting the good skills. So here's an idea. I've yet to use the time crystal. Do I engage and rush in with reckless abandon and then revert? Because that, I mean, oh, you can't even do that. You can't actually go into the fog of war. They are smart. That one canceled that then. Dump. Okay. Oh, that's a little awkward. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I guess that's the point, though. They're supposed to be crafty ambushing uh, bandits, after all. Who has the torch? Who got that? Oh, dump. It's Chloe. But if there's a... If there's a bow person, I'm screwed. There isn't. Thank goodness. Let's just see how this enemy phase goes. Are you... You're such a turd! 
I just turned that light on. Come on, man. It's like when someone comes in your room and doesn't close the door. It's just like, bro, can you be bigger of a turd? I'm sorry, I, that's that's it. I didn't mean to say that. But uh, you're being a turd. It's gonna be one of my classic chip tactics. Start with Vander, who has, is he a pre-promote? Yeah, Paladin, says it right there. Then what the heck is, okay. He's just noble. She's noble too. Is that is that like a base class? Maybe it is. Either way, yeah, we're always kind of like, kind of take turns whacking this guy, and that seems like a decent strat. And Chloe, can you get the finishing blow? Hopefully get another level on her. I love chain attacks. I mean, that's nothing new if you've been following this channel for the last two years, but like, dude, I really, really love chain attacks in this game. I just wish we had more people to do them with. Maybe that'll happen soon. I'm honestly thinking of staying put with these two, because like, it could honestly be anything. I mean, it can't be a dragon, because I think Miss Yunaka and her eyeballs would have saw the dragon. Okay. Yeah, so there was a sneaky little devil over here. So far, though, this this map seems kind of chill. I guess they really want to show you the, um, what's it called? The uh, fog of war mechanic without being too obnoxious about it. I think I'm doing okay with it. You know, I could have played a little better, but that's what, um, honestly, <laughs> recording yourself and pretty much anything is the fastest way to improve. I can't speak on an academic level because I've not been in education for a very long time. But just talking about video games, etc. Dude, if you can just get that instant replay, you learn so fast. It's honestly just one of like the the greatest things of just life, I guess. I don't I like learning. Not when I'm forced to, but man, when I ooh, let's not get her too close. But legit, it's great. And I think we're kind of Done with the map, right? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Hard to tell. Big Bo is back in. I, I said it again. I'm going insane. Who is Big Bo? And why are there like seven Australian people that work at my local UPS store? That's a little odd. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, you gotta. I'm in Florida. It's not usual. I do wonder who's gonna get MVP in this map, though, because in my mind, it was definitely Chloe getting all the kills. But I think it's damage based, so it might un. Mm. Do I risk this? The boss is here. We know bosses can move now. Dump, what do I do? Maybe I should sandbag a little bit and get this emblem energy. Will I even have time to do that? Are they gonna come now? Okay, thank God they, got, they did not. <laughs> All right, now we should be fine. Just do this. He can warp Ragnarok in. I think that's the range of warp Ragnarok. IDK. Okay, and now we should be set. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, dump! There he is. <gasps> oh no! Late to be saving the day. We killed <gasps> off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> you monster! Oh my god, that's not surprising given your hairdo. But I don't kill her. Don't kill him one hit. <laughs> oh my god! Please tell me the mage isn't in range. Please, please be chill. Please be chill. Saline, I can't lose you, girl. <laughs> oh, the poop was a prank. I promise. <laughs> This is an improvement. I I, 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 I can't talk. I'm bleeding everywhere. <gasps> okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Ooh, that's actually a lot. Dodge this too, please, please, please. Our healer's not in range. I mean, Yunaka's in range, but. All right, we're starting the boss fight a little sooner than I expected. Wowee. Um. Oh, this really sucks. We're not. We're not anywhere near this like thicket terrain. Cause then we could use Yunaka to get like the crit bonus, and just also she would be pretty like hard to hit. It's been hard to hit. This is kind of a gamble, but it's pretty obvious at the same time. If we get it, great. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. We just gotta get that first HP bar down, and then we just go crazy. And speaking of going crazy, I'm doing that right now. Get on that horse. Get on that horse, Louie. I don't know how you can with all the armor on. But here we goes. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kill him. Oh, kill him, please. Like actually kill him. All right, he's saving the day. He's the MVP. He's divinely inspired. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh crap! Now we actually have to like kill this thief, or we're screwed. Okay, Kanto, just to like I don't know, just to free up this room, I guess, just for toots and giggles. Oh dang! Buffalon, if you hit this, that'd be huge. Please, please, please! My man, let's go! It gets oh, you get kill EXP for that? No way. Uh, that's, that's, everyone's allergic to strength in this country, I guess. We can't pass up the opportunity to get divinely inspired from this. That's a two-hit KO. Easy peasy. Did you get a crit? Oh, okay. Another one. 
I mean, she can't miss it. Okay, that's pretty simple. I think from now on, I'll start skipping those. I mean, you, you, we can do the math, right? <laughs> uh, she got strength. I'll take it. Isn't that a bad start? All right, all right, all right. Now, can a Leer get that one hit KO? Oh, and I can do this too. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, and then we get the chain attack too. I just gotta like cover my butt. I'm pretty sure Low Star Rush can do it, but you never know. Okay, moment of truth. Can we get this? Come on, boss. You got weapon triangle advantage. You literally cannot take damage here, and he's poisoned and all around. I think it's a like 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 it's not a one it's not a one shot. Are you serious? How is that not a one shot? These bosses are built different. Oh my gosh. I mean, we gotta go for it, because that's the best, best we can get. Oh, I didn't put Alfred in there for the support bonus. I mean, I don't honestly even know what the support bonus is. It would have given us something. A 0% crit. Oh, let's just hope and pray someone can do 7 whole damage. Can we trade? Oh, we can trade the Javelin from Chloe. Please. Okay, she's got this. Crisis averted. Woo! Oh, she could miss the 99, though. Please. Okay, we're solid. <laughs> so I did not... I had Warp Ragnarok. What was I doing? I forgot about Clan. You think this is justice, huh? <laughs> You raised an entire village of people. You're a monster. You died like Family Guy. Look at that. Get what you deserve, Paul. Heck yeah. It was Chloe. Nice. All right. All right. We spread the love a little. That was an easy map, but it was refreshing. And I really like... I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say, I love Fog of War. But like, you know, it was different. It was kind of cool. That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. Wait, she looks so sad. I didn't get a single kill. I just want to be helpful. And I... I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. Jesus Christ. It must have been those bandits, right? Yeah, totally them. Oh my god, what a plot twist. She just betrayed, like, that used to be her old troop. Uh, well... <laughs> the guild is killing her. <laughs> what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I have a... Uh... Confession. The thing is, I didn't find the ring. I stole it. <laughs> Makai is just smiling. Yep, she's a dirty thief. Huh? You lied to me? But means I thought we- I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and pow, there's the ring staring right at me. God, Alfred, your mom did not hide that well at all. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I I'm sorry. Well, hey, I mean, we got tons of bullions if you join our, like, crew. Like, screw it. Like, I mean, it all worked out in the end, right? I see. A girl lied to me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and kinda, well, lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. The ring of infinite power. Like, seriously. What? I mean, you, uh, okay. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. Oh yeah, good point. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. Oh my god, Micaiah. Please. I hear you, but she did lie to us. And I think Alir's feelings are hurt. He's been crying for like five turns now. I... As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Oh gosh, what are they gonna do? Lay it on me. I can handle it. You gotta cut the potatoes back at base camp for two whole days! <laughs> How about joining our forces? That's punishing enough. We're awful. Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the emblem rings and defeat the fell dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but 
Will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? Yeah, she's gonna have to do tons of marching. Like, seriously, like, a whole game's worth. That's a lot. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we spitting, though. We gotta replace Vander, so... And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. I'm glad it all worked out. Thank you. Both of you. I assume Makaya has something to do with, like, thieves or something. Because... Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say... Hiya, papaya. He's such a dork. I love him. Uh. <laughs> it's not as cute when you say it, though, but thanks. Hiya, papaya. Back at you, divine one. With that settled, let's hurry onward. We've got to cross into Brodia, right? Since when? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian king when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Yeah, more rings to Good. get. The kingdom of oh, that might. Oh, pause. What the I'm curious to see what it's like there. I am too. I will be 100% transparent. Every character so far, kind of sleeper. But something about Yunaka, she just the right amount of silliness, and she showed up at the right time where I'm down. And like, I don't know, I like the moral ambiguity. It's like, ah, yeah, I was gonna steal it, but then like the call of destiny and... Anyway, I don't wanna cut any potatoes. I'll join your party. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm not used to having so many allies. It's good to work with you, Divine One. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. With that, though, we've reached another episode's conclusion. Pretty effing lean episode, I'm not gonna lie. But the Kingdom of Might is coming up real soon, and I'm so excited for that. Hope you guys are, too. And yeah, see you next time. More Fire Emblem Engage. Bye.